hello everyone we will see how to communicate between two different tasks so there will be scenarios where you will require to communicate between two different tasks and two different operators in apache airflow so that can be implemented using xcom functionality so let's see one example rest of the things will be same but one default argument needs to be passed which is provide context true by making it true you are actually providing the context between the tasks uh, next thing that will change is the functions they are you are using to push and pull the values so xcom push and xcom pull so i have created one scenario where uh, both the tasks 1 and task 2 are using python operators to call python functions argument feed is the function and sum is the function so these two functions are just defined above so what i want is this function will push a value and this function will pull that value and perform its operation so for that we have passed uh, the variable number of arguments in quarks in key value format and uh, it will hold that particular value in key t and whenever you want to perform xcom operations you have to perform it on the this value provided in quarks and for passing your particular value you have to uh, make it named value so it, it will have key so I want to pass uh, value 10 so I have given the name value 1 and pushed it inside the quarks t so now I want to catch that value in some function so for that again quarks t xcom pull so I want to pull a value whose key is value 1 and which is from task argument fit so here is the task name now our sum function is ready to perform the operation so before that it it has the uh, tuple result even though the value is 1 it, it store it in a tuple so if you to index the first value available in tuple we have to uh, make it argument 1 of 0 so now value 10 will be stored in argument 1 of 0 added with a local variable value 20 so my print operation should uh, give me the result 30 10 plus 20 30 and this is a schedule one after the other so that task one can push the value and then task two can pull it we'll try to trigger this drag and see the output we'll go to graph view yeah the drag is running We'll just see the logs of first step. You can see it is not printing anything since we just pushed a value. We'll go to the second task if it is complete. Yes, it's complete. We'll see the log if we are seeing 30 as a result. So this is the result that we printed that means we successfully pushed a value from task 1 and successfully read the value in task 2 and perform the operation and result is 30 so this is how you can perform this xcom operation in your uh, DAC where you want to communicate between different types of operators it's not necessary it should be python the functionality should be same which is xcom pull and xcom push so thank you for watching this video you can try it out and let's data.